Ginny Metherill, a fourth generation witch who lives in the beautiful Devon countryside. I want to talk today about witchy routines because I do follow several different ones and how you can incorporate daily witchcraft into your everyday life. So this is some ideas for daily rituals. Journaling is an incredibly easy way to help you in your practice and I generally journal in the mornings I have a dream diary, a witch's grimoire, and a book of shadows. Of course, you don't need three, but I would recommend just five minutes a day writing down your thoughts or processes, and it would really help you for future reference. As I live in the middle of a wood, I tend to spend a lot of time outside in nature. And who wouldn't want to when the bluebell woods around me are so utterly fragrant and charming? I follow the old tradition, whereby if you're feeling fairly unwell and not quite with it, if you walk down an old hedgerow and pull those plants that you are drawn to, they will help cure your sickness. I have studied herbs for many years and so therefore I do know which are edible and which are not. And today's journey is following this tradition. As you see here, I have come across a patch of wild garlic and jack by the hedge or garlic mustard as it's known. These currently are not sitting well with me I don't believe that they will help cure any of the ailments that I'm suffering from. However, here, by the edge of the wood, underneath these bluebells, I am drawn to this. It is the last of this season's wild blue violets. Violets are flowers of protection and love. They're particularly potent in love spells. However, they also have a feeling with me at the moment that they will help me improve my health. The whole plant is edible and I feel that in a tea it will make a perfect healing drink. I have picked a bunch of bluebells as well, as their fragrance will also help me recover from my ailment. Smell cannot be underestimated as part of a witchcraft tools for healing. Adding to the violets, I'm feeling that rosemary will also bring me some health benefits. The flowers as well as the stems. Rosemary, again, is a flower of love and protection. Maybe that's why I'm feeling the energy from it will work well with the violets and help me heal. I'm also going to pick some of these late spring narcissi because their fragrance really does fill me with joy and will work well with the bluebells. So now it's time to go back inside and make my morning tea. Of course, first we must put our flowers in water. Their smell will permeate through my kitchen whilst I make my tea. I will wash these flowers and make sure that there is no bad bits upon them. do drink a lot of herbal teas. You don't need a garden to make herbal teas, a simple window box will suffice and just grow those that are your favourite flowers and herbs that you might wish to use. Depending on how I'm feeling, I will steep my teas anywhere between 3 and 20 minutes. 
This one is just a light steep, so I've only left it for five. It makes the most beautiful chartreuse colour. Once my tea has been drunk, let me show you my next witchcraft routine. Before I do any work in the craft, I do like to cleanse my working area, and a joystick works magically for this. It is so important to cleanse and get rid of that negativity. You don't have to use smoke, sometimes I use a bell. This is one routine that I will never stop doing, cleansing my working area and my working apparatus, as you see here. Do go to Patreon for the May cover meeting details, and otherwise don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. <laughs>